I picked up a uh, interesting collection yesterday from a gentleman who uh, I had been uh, in touch with uh, for a few months. Uh, he finally made it in and uh, met with me. And basically, this belonged to his wife's grandfather. It's a collection that consists of uh, Nielsen baseball cards. These were put out by Nielsen Chocolates in 1922. They're beautiful cards. They're very, very hard to find. They're esoteric, but they're very rare. And uh, they do feature major leaguers. So just off the top of my head here, we have George Sisler, who is a recognizable name. And we have Zach Wheat, another recognizable name. So there's a stack of those. And then these are V100s. These were, uh, again, from the 1920s, a uh, Canadian issue, extremely rare. I've never had these before. This is a first time for me. And uh, they are not high grade, as you can probably see, but cards from this time frame rarely are. And maybe we can get the back here. They're blank backed. The 1922 Nielsen chocolates are have text on the back. Actually rather nice text. And then there's some variations if I can find one. Hold on, maybe I don't have any of the variations. There's two different backs and uh, one advertises Nielsen chocolate. So maybe I don't have the two different backs. I don't think I do. I just have one of the backs. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, there was those. And then there was, uh, the rest of it was non-sports. But of interesting note would be two different Charlie Chaplin cards, which uh, I don't think are particularly valuable, but they're very cool. And um, these were also issued by Nielsen Chocolates. And there is, um, there are movie star cards. These were issued, I'll have to do some, some research on, on these, but one of the interesting things I wanted to show was a couple things. Um, these were issued by Imperial Tobacco, famous for putting out the C55, C56, and C57 hockey cards. Those are birds. Uh, again, not anything particularly valuable, but interesting from the standpoint of the famous issuer of the hockey cards. And then this set uh, was issued by, I think this is probably, um, maybe Maple Crispet, something like that. And uh, I'll have, again, I'll have to do some research, but these are actors and actresses. And um, again, you know, there are some names that people would probably recognize. Um, although I can't seem to find any here, but there are some. And uh, those are the backs. So uh, an interesting collection. I'm gonna try to start making some videos um, on a more regular basis of the collections and things that I'm picking up. So there's quite a lot of stuff in here. It was pretty deep. No hockey cards, unfortunately. I really wish there were. Um, these were, this is interesting. Let's just show these. For, for Canadian uh, pre-war hockey collectors, they will recognize the Patterson Company, Patterson Candy. They put out hockey cards as well. And, uh, sorry, this is new for me, just learning. Patterson hockey cards, and, uh, these are, this is close to a set of movie scenes. So, again, I'll have to go through this stuff and research it and, uh, it will probably be for sale on eBay shortly. If anybody has pre-war hockey, baseball, 
non-sports Canadian or American issues uh, and they want to sell them or of course vintage hockey baseball and other things from the 50s and 60s please get hold of me if you live in Canada and you have a collection and you don't want to sell it yourself I'm a very good option for you uh, I can buy it outright with no further work to you. I also take some things on consignment. My user ID on eBay is Vahuda, V-A-H-O-O-T-A. If you want to go on and read my close to 6,000 positive feedbacks, the website is aasportscards.com. Of course, you can see all the things that I've uh, bought on there. And uh, I hope that uh, you enjoy these videos and I'll try to make more as we go along. But that was uh, that's my most recent pickup. Thank you for watching.